Yes, yeah, hundred percent transgender fashion show. That means everybody's uh transgender in the fashion show. Marco Moco did a hundred percent transgender fashion show. Designer Marco Moco W and all transgender roster on New York fashion week runway now this is being reported as of september the 10th 2018 collection seven the latest lines of marco marco made history saturday presenting the entirely transgender roster of models and designers underwear brands in new york fashion week runway show the most trans men ever assembled in the nyc the n YFW one way although I have always had trans and non-binary people in my shows I became apparent that to me that the present within often overshadows the cis gay male or the cis gay men in drag designers Marco um, Moranti said in an interview when asked about the casting I wanted to create a space where celebrities and trans bodies there is there was an opportunity and the presence of the undeniable reinforcement that trans is beautiful porn star dominique jackson as alicia ross walked alongside the transparent actress tracy and youtuber Gigi gorgeous as well as models as gina late leaf ashley carmen carrera Adam and Ariska and not even half the cast that would include the 34 models. There was an ongoing need for conversation and inclusion of the past fashion show season and borderlines of tokenism. Tokenism. Now, Gina uh, openly opened the show and said the interview, but the realty is that being trans is not a trend. It is life, beauty, as power. I floated with modeling back in the 20s while living in New York City, but I had always been shut out because of my curves, Tracy said in an interview. I'm too thick for the industry standards and not thick enough for plus size model. It was nice to be on a runway where none of that matters and I could let my our glass be what it is and a confidence that the fashion industry is walk, waking up to many different bodies and types and shades and experiences and this thing is called beauty this was such a historic moment and a statement from the fashion industry leaf ashley said in an interview or late after the in um said in an interview that many of the guys had never done something like this before and displayed so much confidence unity and courage marco has always had the first runway and have had and have an all trans show and an individual of all types of ages size background colors and identity within the trans umbrella which was particular you know so those are all the people that was in the show they were all trans men and all trans women beautiful there's an old saying goes from laverne cox trans is beautiful look how beautiful they are so thank you on um, marco marco for designing such a fashionable thing to let people know that there are more people out here in the world that you ever get to realize is that they're beautiful they're human they're like you they breathe they want to be happy they do everything they want to you know to get the life's loyalties and accolades as far as being in a world of different enjoy the difference we're all different in our own little way <sighs> this feels so good anyway like i said before i love your feedback on this how do you feel about this 100 percent trans gender fashion show this is good this is almost like a spin-off of pause that facts so let us hope the trend keep going and this was an all transgender roster on new york fashion week runway and stuff and this is something that's basically made history and i'm happy to be a part of this life about now when it's making history as a trans woman as well like i said before i love your feedback on this subscribe to my channel and let you i love you and at the top there's an instagram button if you follow me i'll follow back let you i love you and thank you for watching kiss the ring